Hey you guys, it's Shogun Pip here with Blank Dreams. Uh, I know it's been a very long time, and uh, don't really have any excuses for that, but um, let's talk about the game. So, this game is new, it just came out five days ago, or at least the translation into English did. Um, and it's got some really, really heavy aspects to it. It deals a lot with suicide and uh, depression and things like that. So if that's anything that might trigger you or anything like that, you know, just you might want to steer clear. Not that I want you to not watch my video, but still. I want you to be happy and safe within your own mind. Because trust me, I know how that feels. Uh, so I think... I think we can get started now. Let's give this a shot and see what it's like. This man, an RPG maker, which is pretty awesome. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all, I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. And so I, Mishiro Usui, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. I really, really recognize all this. Where is this? What was it just? Mm hmm? Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Yep. Now, I've worked on an RPG Maker game. In fact, I'm still working on one with the true Arceus. And, uh... I recognize a lot of this stuff. The mirror shows no reflection. Uh... The girl sees herself in the mirror. <laughs> Hello, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories. Right. Don't worry, me. I know how to get them back. Now look into the eyes of your reflection. Okay. familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Just a second. Okay. I'm guessing this is her room. A school bag rests on the desk. The girl took a notebook out from it. Kiko no Mia... I can read the Japanese name fine, but once it hits the English from the Japanese, just no. Kikonomiya Academy Class 1-2, Mishiro Usui. Her picture's on the cover. Okay. A familiar computer. The girl unconsciously went to power it on, but stopped. A familiar dresser. The girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. I usually do, too. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that this bear was very important to her. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. That keyboard was not in a good place. The cabinet is full of accessories. The girl felt that they all match her tastes. The closet is packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt that she'd like to wear clothes like this. It won't open. Didn't I click on everything? A small knife is in the desk drawer. It felt familiar in the girl's hands. Okay, so I have a knife now. Uh huh? I swear, I didn't know that that was gonna be anything. I just... Yeah? Ooh! Oh! That's an awesome animation! Good job!
Okay, the mirror's broken now. The girl came to, again, standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back. How did it feel, killing yourself in the mirror? What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Uh. Mishiro Usui, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See? Only partial, but you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world, and then break them. All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And you see how you break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors. You'll get back your memories, and at the same time, grant your wish. Once you break all your mirrors, you'll have it all back, and you can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what granting your wish entails. Why is that, you ask? Remember that part of yourself. Oh, oops. Remember that part of your... Remember that part yourself. Now find the mirrors. I am great. Okay. And now she's slowly walking. I don't remember why it came to that, but I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never even existed. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Walking animation's a little weird. Whoa! I gotta find the script for this. Sweet! That is really cool! It's a very well made RPG Maker game. Where is this? Huh? Are you new here, maybe? Whoa! I picked one heck of a moment to be here! Are you? Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I'll bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. I'm Mishu. Oh, that's very polite of- Wait, you do know your name? That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember my name. Where is this? This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife, maybe. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes? But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't actually remember what wish. Do you have any ideas, Mishima? What? You remember your wish? And you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiro. How blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair even in death. Well, anyway, if you're going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here, because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. Well, see, I like that this game just jumped right into the action. Like, I like a game with a lot of story, but I like that this game just has, just went right into it. Uh, makes it easier for Let's Players, I think. Realm of Blood, bathe in it if you wish, and go mad. Realm of Love, now a warm, dead illusion. Oh, ouch. Ouch! Realm of Death, no life can live before a distorted wheel. I can run. Realm of Greenery, let that meeting be a light of hope. Hmm. That sounds very nice. Realm of Beauty, for whom does the brush dance? of spirits. When the wind sounds, tragedies end and beginning. I'm sort of interested in the realm of love. Can I go there? Oh, it's marks. Dang it. Okay. Uh, maybe this one? Gold door is locked. I'm guessing it's silver, gold, bronze. Maybe this one was the first one. Wait, which one is this? Home of Greenery? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, I'll take an axe. Sweet. Oh, good job, dude. Can I take this? Oh, wow. 
whoa, 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 hold up a sec. I did not expect that. Is this like Kingdom Hearts right here? Where I had to pick one of those things? Shoot. Okay. That's, that's just water. Ah! Oh. Decorative axe. Oh. Can I cut that tree? Can I go in this door? I'm feeling very nervous. I don't want something to chase me. It says blood. The watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? What? Why the music? Stone statue quietly looms. Run, 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 run. I don't trust that thing. Where's my door? Where's my door? Ah! Dead, dead, so dead. Dead end! No! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run, 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 run. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's put the decorative axe in there. No? No? Yes, let's put the decorative axe in there. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is the witch's house style right here. Okay. Okay, so now I've got a real axe. This game seems like it's really, really long. to chop down with an axe. Gosh darn. What about that dead tree over there? Can I chop it down? What do I need to chop it down for? Oh. Oh, oh, there's blood there. Oh, there's blood there. Why? Why is there blood there? <laughs> What the heck? Why is this getting me so bad? Uh-uh. 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 Okay, that was just a fireplace. I've got firewood. No? Okay. Thank you. I've got firewood. Uh-uh. 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 No! No! Why did I sign up for this? There's blood on the wall! No! 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 Oh! That was so close! Not okay with this. Nope. Is there a key in there? Shoot. No, no, no. This is not good. I'm scared. Teddy bear? Can I have you? No, not this music. You can't do this to me. This isn't fair. No. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. 
No. Okay, now I'm just confused. I'm not scared right now. What's over there? Why did it break? Is there nothing else here? Am I just doing the wrong thing? <laughs> I'm guessing that she disappears after you leave. And that's how the event works, but now I don't know what to do. This music is not my friend. Please don't kill me, fire. Wait, I'm already dead. Why does it matter if I die? And ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Let's save it, that little blue spirit there. I used to be working on this, like, creepypasta and pixel horror RPG Maker game where, like, you were trying to give them all happy endings and stuff like that. And that little blue spirit was like who you played as when you were choosing your character. Because you could play as Slenderman and Aya and Ben. But then that, that, that game, I totally scrapped it. Oh, I recognize this background sound anywhere. This is darkness. Oh, it's my reflection. Okay, what now? Six months ago at Mirror Lake. Oh! Apropos! Okay. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment, but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. I remember this. Because I got to brain. In fact, if I had to say it, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. Mirror Lake. I might as well just test that rumor. Near a lake, a lake in a desolate park, about a 20 minute train ride from home. There was an old rumor about it. It was said, hey, nice weather, huh? It's a dude, I could tell. I'm talking to you. No one else here, is there? Who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. But I noticed you staring at the lake with that hollow look. There's always a chance, so I thought I should call out to you. That's unnecessary. I'm not gonna jump in or anything. That's good to hear, but there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Myself, I just see it being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? See, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinohara. I came to paint the park today, and not just trying to flirt. <laughs> Why tell me your name? Are you flirting? I just said I'm not. Introductions are a first step to breaking down barriers. So what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's what I figured. So you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was carrying this clunky easel for show? Not really. Oh. Oh well. If you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Any items that Tamishiro has in the present, she does not have in the past, and this cannot use. So I can't use my knife. Oh, yes, I can. Got my knife right here. Ooh, it's a pleasant sound. That's just canvas. There's nothing on it yet. I have a bit of connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. Should I 
just jump in? That seems really sad. Is that what she did? Did she just jump in? I recognize that. I was using that in that game that I made a long time ago. I gotta stop talking about that. Sorry. I'm just gonna jump in. It'll surely be painful. Jump in! Mishiro threw herself into me. Mishiro came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt lake water in her nose, her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yes, I met Ayato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little bit more about myself. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. And I got a key, sweet. Alright guys, I think that's all I can do for this episode. It's been about 20 minutes, seems long enough. Anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I got pretty spooked, but hey, it was still fun. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Blank Dreams, which should be coming out very soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.